guys good morning happy new week i know by the time you see this video it's going to be either friday yeah but i just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update um i think the last time you saw a vlog from me was last week wednesday um showing my leg injury at the end of a monday tuesday vlog yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update as to what is going on and new direction and so on and so forth. So I'm currently on leave. I'm on sick leave. Um, let me backtrack. On Tuesday, I went to the gym to exercise. <laughs> and um, during my class, I don't know what happened and I just... I don't know next thing i knew i was on the floor i think i turned bad because i think we were doing lots of lateral lunges and i kind of turned i turned bad and my left kneecap slipped out and went to the side of my feet now in that moment when that happened i wasn't feeling any pain because i had a lot of adrenaline in my body i wasn't feeling pain i was on the floor <laughs> laughing with my classmates because everybody forgot they were exercising and they came to my rescue so with that i was like you know what just <laughs> smile and keep it moving and um i think afterwards when that happened i immediately called my uncle because he's an orthopedic specialist so this is his profession i called him all i was thinking is to call my uncle call my uncle so i called him and he told me how to move because i landed on my si right side and I, he told me how to move and how to move the leg and it slipped back into position. Again, all of that transpired, no pain, nothing. Um, even when I got assistance out of the gym, coming all the way home, I still wasn't feeling any pain until the adrenaline wear off and I'm at home. Then I felt the pain and the pain was real. Wednesday, I went to the doctor. He was talking about, oh, he checked both knees. Thank God, thank the Lord that no ligament was torn. Um, he said, if I had more weight, the, it, the possibility X is that one of my ligaments would have been torn. So I thank God for that. And um, yeah, so they put knee brace on my foot. I, I think you saw that in the last vlog. So my legs are in that the left leg, sorry, is in knee, the braces. So um yeah, that was Wednesday. I came back, I went to work, got my footage off the computer and uploaded for you guys so you guys could have at least understand why I wasn't posting Friday and Sunday. And yeah, um that was basically it. Um so I've been home since last week wednesday it's almost a week now yeah it's a week um since i've been at home uh the experience it's been painful but there is um what you call the pain medications have been helping um i ain't able to go through all the long details about that but i'm recovering well um i should be back up on my feet in a few weeks i'm out of gym because i can't do anything now <laughs> um later on when i'm cleared fully cleared and fully healed and fully functional then i would be able to go back into the gym but i'll have to take it easy and do knee braces and so forth so i think at one point the doctor was telling me oh you need surgery on both knees because they're susceptible to slipping out we ain't having that oh no we are not having that i believe in jesus christ and should be told my knees would be healed and he will give me the wisdom and how to protect it. And nobody cutting my knees. Oh, he said it's a minimal invasive surgery, but still, we're gonna trust and believe God that it's going to be healed, and I will be fully functional. I had one surgery um, in my life, which is in 2015, for appendicitis. I promised myself, and I declare that I ain't going back in no hospital, getting any more surgeries. <laughs> 
so yeah that's i just wanted to come on and give you guys an update um i know on tuesday you saw a video of my deep conditioners i miss vlogging truth be told um doing uh, what's the word um doing scripted or contents of my mini with my mini featurettes it's a little more difficult because you have a lot of takes um you have to get stuff right you have to get your stuff right <laughs> and information correct and so forth so that takes a little more time and effort and a lot of takes whereas with the vlogs i am able to be unscripted more or less so yeah i've been at home i've been um you know reflecting and just you know enjoying the process every i always say every bad thing or every setback it's a time for you to reevaluate, reflect, get closer to God. You know, just tap into his presence and see what he's saying to you in that moment, in that season, and keep it moving from there. But um there are a few things that I wanted to address too. One is that a lot of people don't know why I started my YouTube channel and I will be doing on a professional video or introduction for my channel. Um, I don't know when I'll get to do that as yet, but that will be coming. Um, but just to give you guys a little overview, um, because of my, and I don't know how many persons would have saw my Get Ready With Me vlog, the vlog that is 33 minutes, <laughs> I would have shed some light on that. So within this past couple of days, I've been reflecting and kind of redefining uh, the channel and my social media platforms and it's leading to creating a social media brand and if you notice on the channel art of my channel um, which is lifestyle tech travel and I think I put in vlogs my website my Instagram Twitter and everything and Facebook page and everything has those categories not a lifestyle of course would be vlogging mostly vlogs and any other thing I add in it to be it my journey through uh, creating the brand through um, my creative sweet challenge for 2019 so that would all fall into lifestyle the tech is because I'm in the ICT information communication and technology stream um, that's my job. That is what I do every day. I will focus on that and that would be more focused in from my website standpoint and Also on my channel. So those two will be correlating um, Travel when I'm traveling and moving around That would fall into that category as well. So I know where I want to take the channel in the direction there and in, in the direction in which it needs to go and where I want to see it like a year from now a year two years from now I can honestly see from last year when I started initially to now I have seen the progress I've seen development I've seen where I started to now it has changed it is remaining the same but it's just changed a little so as the journey continues I will document so you guys will be informed um, I encourage you guys to keep up with me on social, the other social media platforms, Instagram especially, because I post a lot on Instagram, so you guys can keep up with that. The second thing I want to address is my hair. Now, I got a lot of comments, people saying, oh, you have such beautiful hair. Please note, <laughs> what you're seeing here, it's a so in, it's 100% human hair. Um, I do have natural hair. And I will insert a picture so you can see how it is in its natural state. I'm resting my hair for a few months. So this looks like my actually real hair because when I initially purchased it, I wanted it to be as close as possible to my hair as possible. If I'm putting in weave, I don't want it to look like, oh, people have to say, oh, well, she has in natural hair. So everybody, be it on camera, off camera, figures that it's my actual real hair. My real hair, it's like this but um <laughs> i'm just resting it for a while i've had it out i've been combing it and doing it for over a year i haven't done any protective style so this is my protective style so i'll insert a picture 
as to what my hair looks like. <laughs> and you would see it's not that far off um, in terms of length and thickness and so forth. It's a lot of hair. So having it like this makes my life easier, especially time like now I don't have to worry about combing the hair. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to come on and give you guys an update. I know some persons are missing my vlogs, but when I'm up and about with my I will be posting more vlogs. Thank you guys for hitting me up in the comments, especially those who've been watching my mini featurettes and saying, oh, they're enjoying the content. Thank you so much. Um, on my channel, you're gonna see variety, and that is me. I don't wanna just stick to vlogging. It's gonna be a variety channel, so it'll have a little of everything. Because again, it's lifestyle, and lifestyle is not only focused on just one topic, it could be several different things. So you will be seeing variety as it's the spice of life. All right, so I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe down below, hit that notification bell button. Follow me on my social media, other social media platforms and give this video a thumbs up thank you all for the love and support during my injury i got most messages dms or persons message me so i'll see you guys in the next vlog